Weather with Chief Meteorologist Dylan Robichaud. Check it out. A total solar eclipse will be visible one month from today. The bummer, you're going to have to travel if you want to see it. So here's a look at this. Uh, this will be on April 8th, 2024, so exactly 30 days away. And that path of totality is going to cross over the continental U.S., mostly east of the Mississippi. Uh, based on climatology, the best place to travel for this will be parts of Texas, where climatologically speaking, they get more sunshine. Once you get north of the 45th parallel, they typically get more cloud cover. So northern Vermont and Maine, you know, it's a, basically a coin toss at this point, but typically based on climatology, they have more clouds up there. Uh, here in Oregon, we're only going to be about 25% blocked from the moon. So you're barely even going to notice it here. So Texas, parts of Arkansas, and uh, even Ohio would be the places that you want to be for that. All right, switching gears right now. High pressure, man, we got two solid days out of that. High pressure is gone. We got storm number one tonight. Storm number two pushes on in for tomorrow night. The timing goes like this. A wet day out there tomorrow morning, 730 in the morning. Snow across the Cascades, rain here in the valley. We'll be tracking uh, showers mostly in the morning by Saturday evening. You look at this. All righty, got a little bit of a break going on here. And then here comes round number two. I'll say this much though, round number two, this one has a bit more of a punch with it. Heavier showers is expected as we go into the day on Sunday. Winds gusting very strong from the north here, up to 30, possibly 40, maybe even 45, 50 along the coast. And by tomorrow afternoon, we're talking winds upwards of 40 here across parts of the passes as that front moves across the viewing area. Now, as we talk about rainfall here, I think for the coast, we're looking at easily an inch, possibly two inches here through Saturday and Sunday. And then, of course, you got to figure for places like Corvallis and Eugene and down there in Roseburg, we get that rain shadow effect. So we're going to knock down the totals quite a bit, only about an inch here in the interior valleys. Low pressure. Here's your cold front here on Saturday and then going into Sunday and Monday. Things improve a little bit. Another storm here on Monday and then look what the models do late next week going into next weekend. Bam, high pressure is on top of us here. Not only does the sun come back out, but it warms up. Here's your jet stream right now, right down through California. We got cold air pushing in for the weekend, but long term by next weekend, we're talking eight to 12 days out, things warm up. Right now we're getting signals that we could be talking about the upper 60s, possibly lower 70s. So our first real taste of spring could be on the way. Tonight we drop down to the upper 30s to lower 40s and then for tomorrow, we're looking at low 50s here for most everybody. As we get a look at the seven day forecast, again, wet for the next four days, and then things start to kind of pivot into a drier setup here for Thursday and Friday. The sun is back, temperatures warm back up. We're near 70 here in the valley and uh, also down there in the Umpqua Basin. It gets much milder towards the end of next week. We do have some snow across the Cascades. Could be talking four to eight inches as we go into this upcoming weekend. And then in the valley, we get much cooler here. Sunday, we don't even crack 50, but then we're talking near 70 by next Friday, Cam.